What's up everybody? Sparewood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. We are back on the Glitch Ship project from Starbound. Uh, when we left off, we had kind of finished this front part area, um, or top at least, and kind of got it more, <coughs> excuse me, more refined into a closer to finish product. I believe this episode... I'm going to focus on trying to get this resolved, this little curve shape here, because um, for those of you that don't know the game or haven't seen the glitch ship, you can check out the uh, link in the description for the um, image that I'm working with to kind of be a concept design. And one of the things I noticed is that this back section is visible while you're playing, and so is the front part up there and they all kind of seem to be part of the same but if you as you can see it kind of looks that way in 3d <coughs> excuse me also if you look at it this way so I don't think we're I, I was gonna originally try and make this into like you know somehow it came off of here and went all the way over but that's just not gonna work right so we're gonna we're gonna work on this and I think what we'll do I'm not positive yet but I believe what we're going to do is first I want to draw this down so I basically can tell exactly where that starts and stops. Um, so now what we need to do... Okay. Is we need to curve this in a manner that it is not already doing. So we're going to need one of these blocks there. Is that right? And then put something like this here. Um, another one of these here. And here maybe. Okay. I guess we'll have to leave that. Maybe. Eh, I don't know. We've got to. We've got to resolve this situation here. Which may prove to be an issue with this plan. So let's go ahead and put one of those there. And, alright, I guess we'll try and do something like this, maybe. <coughs> Excuse me, how does this look? Eh, it could look better. It doesn't look bad. But, you know what we can do? Is go off of this instead and curve it back out this way. I know that's kind of what I just did, but I'm just I'm just testing the waters here to see how all it would work because essentially I want this curve, but I need this to stay the same. So I need to figure out exactly how to do that. And I think that is probably the best that I'm going to get out of that design. Now the other problem here... ...is that we will need to remove... I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Alright, the camera's driving me nuts. I gotta go first person even though I usually prefer to be in third. Okay, so... We'll need to do something like this, I believe. But if we do that, then it messes again with this shape down here, which I am not a fan of. So, 
the question is how do we get this to connect to this that is the question so if we remove that put this here huh or we could do that No, that won't work. Put that back. Um, what if... We could do that, I guess. Hmm. Not as big of a fan, though. So, this would kind of work. But then this won't, which is the problem that I'm running into here. <sighs> so, what to do, what to do. Because that still doesn't help with this part. See, the problem here is... I don't know how to blend these two shapes together. That is the issue here, because if you do something like this, then this is off, and it looks even stranger than it already does. Now, if I did this, it's still jutting into the wall. So basically, that just won't work either way. <clears throat> Unless we put this here. That's the only solution I'm really coming up with. Which is somewhat problematic in and of itself. Because then you still end up with this weird looking shape. So let's try and maybe make it a bit more organic here. Okay, I'm liking where this is going much better already. Boom. There we go. There's our shape. And now we can bring this together like so. So it brings it back one block, but from the bottom, it looks much, much better. I like that. I can live with that. Alright. So now... The other problem begins. And that... Is that I need from here... And here to be considered the hull, not these thrusters. So that also means that we've got oops a problem. A, pro a problem. Because if we close all of this off, We've got to punch another hole through this section here. Not what I meant to do. Alright, let's just bring that up for now. We can work on the rest of this later because essentially... I think this is all going to be considered... Um, this part. Why did this not get built? I wonder. So that's not too, too bad. It doesn't blend like this does. Um, but it's also not that bad, I don't think. Let's assess the damage over here. Alright, so what is this going to cut off? This guy 
is really all it's going to do. Um, hmm. Although, it won't look that weird, come to think of it, because I believe this... What are you doing, you weird... Weird game. Um, this, I believe, is all supposed to be... Like that. Well, I don't know. This is the part where the... Um, the 2D stuff is for the game, so I don't really know what exactly is supposed to be here. But if we were to... Um, follow... Oh my gosh, get out of the way. I can't see anything but these stupid blocks. Alright, there we go. So if we were to follow this design through, I would only need... Like this. And then this can extend out into it or over it. Um, so, let's, uh, I hate getting stuck. I keep getting stuck in everything because it's so compact now that I'm closing everything in and it's annoying me. So let's trim this back a ways. What are you doing? Like so. Okay, well, it's actually supposed to be lower. You know what? Come to think of it, I may not actually need to cut into these once we get everything hooked up and connected properly. Let's find out. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm flying into stuff, bumping into everything. Getting stuck in everything under the sun. Okay, so this can pretty much all be removed. I think. If not, we can always go put it back, but... You know. For now, we'll do it like that. And see where it goes from there. So let's flip this. Bring this down, and see... Where does this run into, I wonder? Alright, so that block right there is where it hits. Now, we do have a couple of options and a couple of issues. Because this should connect up nicely, which is fine. And I guess we'll leave it that way. I was wondering if we wanted to fill this in, because then it kind of doesn't really look like the awning it's supposed to. Actually, you know what? It is supposed to look like an awning, isn't it? Let me look at the image thing. Yeah, it kind of is supposed to, I think. I'm guessing. I don't know. Whatever. Um, so let's take this in. No, not that. Why would you do that? So let's actually take this in by one down. Okay. So, oops. You don't need to be there. Actually, you, you don't either. Why is, why is that there? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Had two rows of this. We're just gonna put this back for now. Again, it may end up getting removed again. But who knows? So if we bring this in by one. So that it's still got like an arch awning thing going on. This still needs to be gone, I suppose. That way all this can connect up. That's fine. 
this I believe is fine. Um, and do we want to do something about this? I wonder. I think it's... I don't know. I'm gonna say it's probably best... Wait a minute. Um, it's probably best if we end up sealing this in. Or, I mean, keeping it, at least, and then just, um, kind of building around it. The reason I say that is because... Uh, well, that could be a problem. Let's curve here and do like this, maybe? Will that work? I don't know about that. Hmm. How about... How about we take this in by one? And keep the um Wait, where's what's going on? What? Um Okay, whatever. So what we'll do is take this in by one. Is that what I did? Are you floating? You're floating. You don't need to be here. Okay. Put this like that. Um, and then... What is... Go the right way, dang it. Oh, you know what? We can make this kind of decorative, actually. Do one of these type maneuvers. I don't know if this. I don't know if this will work or not. I'm just kind of building at this point. Um, the reason it might not, though, is because you can see through there to the other side. So we won't do that. At least, I might leave this. That doesn't look bad. Um, so... We'll leave that for now. I think I'm okay with that for the moment. And then let's... Let's put... Oh! That doesn't connect. Oh, it, okay. Well, anyway, because of because of that thing. So it needs two on this side. Let's go ahead and put that in there, and then we'll put this here. And now we've kind of got the same shape on the front and the back. Um, I'm gonna fill this part in up to this point, I think. And we'll work on the inside part in a minute. Or maybe next episode. We're running low on time here. Let's see what we've got going on here. Alright, so this... Uh, I'm going to save it. Because I don't want to remove this and then break it. Okay. Okay, nothing, nothing happened. Phew! I think I can break that too. So, let's go ahead and fill this part in. Right? And... Bring this back. I don't think actually it goes all the way, so let's at least trim one off of that. 
And then I think what we're going to do is end up just doing the same thing over here that we did at the top. It'll just be inverted. Um, there we go. Like so. And like that. Let's trim this back a little bit. Fill this in. Come on. Come on. What the heck? Thank you. Like that. We'll need to fill this part in. Like so. Okay, and let's take this in and how do I get there we go. Um actually shouldn't it look more like that? With one of these here. There we go. That looks better. I think. Except for this. I don't like that. Uh, I don't like that either. So you know what? We'll take it in by one. Maybe. That might end up being off. I don't know. Ah, screw it. Whatever. Well, I could always move that back by one, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. So we're going to leave it like that. Uh, okay. Now let me double check the front part here. And see, this goes back by one, two blocks. And then this part is connected correctly. So, I mean to the edge of it. So this goes in by two. And then let's bring that one out by one. Is that right? Or is it back one further? Oh, it's back a few further, actually. Oh, well. Um, well, yeah, let's, let's fix that. Okay. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Alright. So, overall, I think most of the hull is completo. And I'm happy with it. I mean, I don't know that it looks exact. We might do something decorative here so that this doesn't look just like a flat surface. We might try and do some kind of curving thing maybe um so the next episode we'll probably finish this these these curved parts of the thrusters um let's see what else then we'll finish this area then we have the turrets to build which i don't think should be too difficult and then the last step will be open, punching a few holes so that we can get in there and fill it all up with whatever uh, power thrusters we need. I think I'm going to put all the different directional thrusters in here, in, you know, like right, left, up, down. I'm going to try and fit them all in these uh, thruster pod type things. Now, because this was built as a small ship, there is no other interior other than the cockpit. Um, I know technically the glitch ship should be, you know, a interior thing because in the game you can actually walk around and do stuff in it. But, you know, what are you going to do? I started as a small ship and small ships don't have interiors. So, instead of building interiors and stuff, so it's basically, oh, uh, that's a step we won't have to do. So it's going to be the thruster decorations on the front. Uh, finishing this design, finishing the turret tops, and then just interior, put what necessary power cells, gyros, and thrusters are necessary. 
So yeah, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it at the moment. It's looking better than I expected, especially going off a 2D image, so I don't think there should be more than maybe two more, one or two more parts. Um, but I don't see it going too much further than that, which is good. Uh, so we're almost done. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!